Poor Cordoba has not ran in a year. It's pouring down rain, so let's make it run. This poor Cordoba has been abused by yours truly, unfortunately. If you remember, I made a video of the figure eight racetrack that I did, and then Kevin and Luke from Junkyard Digs and Thunderhead 289, respectively, uh, came over and I was like, well, I got this thing, let's go racing. And boy, did we. So this is from the figure eight. You can see all the dirt and dust on the seats and everything. And I never cleaned it back up. I took like an hour or two to clean this thing, yet here I am letting it sit for all this time. And it's kind of depressing. I really want to get it back out. So what better thing to do, like I said, let's just start it back up. It doesn't have a carburetor. I stole it to make something run, but I don't remember what it was. I think it was the charger. And I've got the old trusty Edelbrock. 1407 the 750 vacuum secondary whatever and this is actually the one that we put on the uh, 70 Plymouth satellite whenever we got that thing running so what I'll do put it back on there I need to take and pull this carburetor stud off the uh, the throttle stud I've got an adapter for it that I'll talk about the rain's starting to pick up so how about we just move inside and we'll talk here so, while it's raining, I guess we can talk about the goodness of the Edelbrock carburetor. So, like I said, this is a 1407, which is a 750, and it's not supposed to come with this electric choke, but I had this on my Dart, and I wanted an electric choke, so I put it on there, and good old Mr. Finley zip-tied it open whenever we had the uh, satellite running. So uh, if you haven't already, go check out that video because it's awesome. So Luke, Kevin, and I got the thing running and got to where we like it. But what I need to do is actually take, because I stole the uh, kickdown adapter that goes on these things for a Chrysler, because on the Chrysler you need the, uh, the kickdown lever adapter, which is part number 1481 from Edelbrock. So if you need something like this, this is what will do it. And what it does, it'll set this throttle pin out and actually make it to where it will stick out further enough so that the kickdown lever is in line. So it won't be binding if it's tilted in too far. So while I'm sitting in the car, I figured I might as well just go ahead and take this off, put the adapter on, save us some time in the rain. This is just a factory throttle lever, so it's good to keep up with these things and you can never have enough so we'll open up our kick down adapter here and if i remember correctly i don't remember correctly how does it go is it like this right here that's the ticket sits on like that and then your kick down lever goes through right here like so tighten this up and then it's just a matter of three bolts here you can see it is installed it's just two bolts one up here tighten it up and these two right here I uh, just I didn't tighten it up yet just want to show you put the knot on the back side bolt it on tighten it up super simple to do but this is going to fix all of your issues whenever it comes to concerning your kick down adjustment Well, I hope it's not stuck. The only thing keeping it from everything in there. Left on my bolts laying right here. Seems like I've lost two washers, so that's okay. I'll just 
add them as we can. And we'll just get it up to the house and fix anything we can't fix right now. Put these on the corner and that'll help it out. You know what I just realized? I just set that on there without a carburetor gasket. That could have been bad. Yes, I stole it. Talk about a vacuum leak. This thing never would have ran. Come on, Dylan. Luckily, I bought a ton of these and hung them up on the wall. So this will do the trick. Now we're cooking. Using a wrench, because I was too lazy to get the sockets out, in case you're wondering. I think something left some excrement in this car at some point. It smells kind of rank, I don't know why. Watch this guys, I'm actually going to check the oil in it. A lot of people said I don't. By Georgia did. See how she looks. She's a little low. We'll add a half quart. Call it a day. All right, so we're gonna try and start it. There's no fuel in the bowls. Uh, I haven't turned it over just yet, so let's see if it's even stuck. I don't believe it should be. There's no reason it should be. But uh, we'll turn it over, let the fuel fill up the bowls and everything before we try to crank on it not too hard. Still nothing. Keep trying. If it's not full by now, it could be out of gas. Oh, I see fuel in the filter. Tell if we're getting anything, but we'll see what happens.
let this thing idle in neutral for just a little bit to engage the transmission pump. I've talked about doing that before. I don't want to run it straight into gear. So we'll just let it sit here for a second, let it idle in neutral. And it's getting dark right now, but we'll see if we can back it out of here at least and maybe take a little victory lap. Drop her down into reverse, see how she does. Amazing to see this thing back running, I guess. I don't know, it's been so long. I have no doubts in the old girl. She's been running hard. She's tough too. I'll be honest with you guys, I forgot how nice this thing is to drive. It's so smooth. Just put a few gallons of gas in it. Got some fresh 93 octane in there. Gonna run that through there clear it out a little bit. We're cruising at 60 right now and no issues at all. Let's see what she's got right here. Not, we gotta adjust that timing bad. Still have good oil pressure. The temp's staying low. We got that brand new radiator that we got off Rock Auto back last year. And everything's going great. New thermostat and all that good stuff. This carburetor is not where it needs to be. I'm just trying to do a burnout. It stumbled. But we'll see if she can at least pull a UE right here. Rev limiter rolling, aka belt squeal. Oh yeah, she still got it. I jumped the car and hit the bumper. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so just like that, the old $600 budget beater sleeper build that we plan to do is alive. Do we need to go ahead and follow through with the beater build? I don't know. What do you guys think? I missed this car. I had a lot of fun with it, but I don't know. Depends on what you guys want to see. Do you want to see some more of this stuff? I've got heads, cam, headers, intake. For the works is what I could really do to it and maybe some kind of rear gear it just depends on if you guys want to see it or not I don't really know so uh, let me know down in the comments below if you liked it and if you like this car then give me all sorts of uh, feedback on it I'd like to know what you guys think or if you think I should just keep it as a little toy like we have been just uh, go race it again like we have been on the, the dirt track so uh, if you guys don't really care for this the budget sleeper then we'll just uh, make this thing a little dirt car so if I was going to do some kind of budget sleeper, this would be the car to do it to. The Aspen is just really too far gone and this thing really doesn't need a lot mechanically as far as structurally like brakes and all that stuff, gas tank's fine. It really doesn't need any of that stuff. The main thing we could focus on is doing upgrades to the engine. So that's why I really wanted to do something with this one if we did some kind of sleeper build. So I wanted to bring this one back out, let you guys see what you thought about it. And like I said, we'll just do some basic stuff, cam, intake, headers, maybe rework the heads, get some bigger valves, 
and I could put a bigger rear end in it, some better gears. We've talked about that a long time ago, and now we're just not getting back into it. So I know it's been a while, but I wanted to make sure you guys know that this car is still here, and it's still doing exactly what it should be doing, and that is cutting donuts in the field. That's what it's best at. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you have any questions for me as well, you want to send me an email, it's at the very end of the video. Also, you can send your projects to that very same email. Order your t-shirts and your stickers, guys. Appreciate everything you've done for me. Like I said, if you want to see more of the Cordoba build, just let me know. And like I said, it's a, it's a lot of, oh, there's a wasp. He's in the car. All right, guys, see you in the next one.